What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got foot champ tactics again. Probably one of the last foot champ tactics we'll be making this FIFA, but let's get into it. I have a few formations this time. I actually have five formations including this base formation. So ignore the chemistry ignore where everybody's playing that doesn't matter i'm just trying to show you guys the tactics so i have a few tactics for you guys before i get into the tactics me personally i will be using the 352 custom tactics the ones on my channel you can just go into my channel find them if not i'll leave them in the description down below those are my favorite formation i mean those are my favorite tactics and my favorite formation in the game 352 i've gotten rank one like Two or three weeks in a row, and then I got ranked two last week. That's to me, that's the best formation. But I understand some people don't like the 352 tactics, so I have other variations for you now. So, this is uh, the custom tactics for you guys basically. So, I have my go to formation this week, which will be, or your guys' go to formation this week, which will be the 4222. Um, if you don't like the 4222, I also have this one right here. Um, the I, I have the uh, this one right here, the 41212, uh, with the attacking fullbacks. That can be your go to formation this week as well. Um, the attacking fullbacks with the CDM drop into uh, basically to make a three at the back. And then these, the right mid and the left mid, they kind of join in on the middle. Uh, I have a video on my channel where I go full detail in these, but I'll go over the tactics with you guys too. So you guys can pick. I did not mean to get out of there. You guys can pick which one of the two formations you guys want to use. You guys can either use the 4222 or the 41212 narrow. Uh, or not, not the narrow, but the 41212 regular. And these custom Texas, which is these. If not, uh, no, those are the main two, right? Now, your comeback formation, your go-to formation, like if you're losing, if you need to get back into a game, will be this one, the 4321. Or if not, I'll also show you my 4312. With the press up the possession loss right now in a little bit. Your defensive formation will still be the 4-2-3-1 because that's like one of the best formations to defend in. And you can still hit counterattacks with just in case and it's easy to get out of a press with. And your all-out formation, which will be the 4-2-4 constant press. Same thing as always. That never changes. Uh, that's the best pressing formation in the game. But let's get into the 4 triple two first. So if you want to play with the 4 triple two, it's going to be exactly as this. Copy it as is this is going to be both old gen and new gen and i'll tell you what to change out for each one so uh old gen you can do balance 37 57 debt if you do new gen i recommend doing 40 60 on new gen um if you do old gen leave it as is if you want to be more conservative drop it to 55 if not 57 is good if you want to be more aggressive then do 60 if you're on new gen if you you can pay uh you can play 60 to be more neutral conservative 57 and more aggressive 63 right um that is how you would play it for me i play old gen so i do 37 57 for me old gen i do balance balance because i let the instructions do the work for me if you're on new gen just switch this to direct passing but if you're on old gen trust me do balance balance it works just as is if you need help attacking then direct passing if you're on new gen then do direct passing um with 47 players in the box five corners of free kicks one and one you can do whatever you want on your corners of free kicks all of my corners and free kicks are one and one except the attacking formation or the ultra attacking formation uh instructions i'm not going to go over who to play where if you need me to go over who plays where then just click on my channel and just look for these uh these tactics right there, these uh, yeah, these actual tactics on the library, I go in the deep dive on through all of them. By the way, don't judge me. I look weird. I forgot my glasses. I just got off of work, running late. Try to get these done for you guys as fast as I can, so it is what it is. Goalie comes for cross sweeper keeper. Both center backs stay back while attacking. Right back stay back conservative. Left back join the attack and overlap because you want one extra player joining in on the attack. So because he joins in the attack, he pushes your left cam to go into the middle. He kind of acts like a central cam. Uh, and this guy will technically act like a left winger. Then your right cam will act like a right winger. And then you have your two strikers, so you still have five bodies attacking. And then you have these three as your center backs. Conservative interceptions on your right back makes them more neutral, more closer to the center back. So he'll make like a makeshift three back, like a three center back partnership. And then you have these two CDMs sitting in front of them. So you still have a bank of three and a bank of two defending you, so you won't get counterattacked, right? All right. So join the attack, overlap. Uh, both CDMs are cut passing lanes. 
stay back while attacking cover center on both of them. Right camp and left camp, same thing. Come back on defense, get into box cross on both of them. Come back on defense so it allows you to defend in a 4 4 2 because that's like the best way to defend instead of you doing a 5 at the back formation. So 4 4 2 is good. Get into box cross because it makes your players do diagonal runs into the box so you can actually get crosses and score some cherry picker goals because those are like the easiest to score, you know? And it makes people mad. So we kind of want to make some people mad on here, right? Because they play super ratty. And that's how you get under their skin. And then both strikers are going to be stay central, get in behind on both of them. If you need a little bit of help uh, on the defensive side or if you need a build up, you need them, the strikers to drop back, then you can go in there and put come back on defense on both of them. Or in game, turn on the D pad tactics, the bottom arrow, and then the up arrow, the one that says striker drop back, and it makes both your strikers drop back. Not all the way down, but it makes them drop deep to where like a center forward would be or almost a cam. It just helps you build up, right? Now, um, if that formation, if you don't like the 4 triple 2 or if you want to try something new this week, try out this 4 one, two, one two. This formation is legit. I've been experimenting with it all week. It got me into the Elite Division. I really like it. It got me into the top 20% of players in the Elite Division. I really like it. I still think the 3 five, 2 is better, but this is another variation of it. Uh, and it's just so enjoyable to play with because you have so many players joining in on the attack. So, instructions. This is both old gen and new gen. Do not change anything. Leave it as is. Uh, balance, 35 width, debt, 72. Build the play, balance, chance creation, balance. Trust me, on both old gen and new gen. If you need to do direct passing, try it. I don't recommend it too much just because you have a high line. But you can try it out if you don't believe me. And if not, just stick to balance, balance at first. Then try it out. Uh, with 37. Players in the box five corners and free kicks one and one. Instructions: Goalie comes for cross the sweeper keeper. Both center backs stay back while attacking. That's it. Right back stay back overlap and left back stay back overlap. Now, when you get in game, you will turn on the deep pad tactics, the up arrow and then I believe it's the left arrow, the one that has attacking fullbacks. So it will override these instructions and it will make them go into join the attack. So whenever they do join in the attack, they'll push your right mid and your left mid to kind of cut inside. So they'll act like almost like cams. So it's it's crazy. You're going to have left winger. Your left back is going to be your left winger. Your left mid will be like a left cam. Your right back will be like a right winger. Your right mid will be like a right cam. And then you have a central cam and two strikers. You're technically attacking with seven bodies. It's crazy. Your opponent doesn't know how to defend that, and you have options everywhere. So just make sure, because you have options everywhere, and you have so many players attacking, you're solid defensively. So whenever you are winning already, like 1 or 2-0, because you will be, go ahead and go back into the game, turn on D-pad tactics, the up arrow, and then the left arrow, so it turns off attacking fullbacks. So you can control when they attack, when they defend, right? Uh, and also, your CDM. He's going to be a drop between defenders, cover center. Make sure he's a CDM. Make sure he's good at defending. Make sure he can drop deep like a Kessie will be good, a Eric Bayer will be good, a Van Dyke, Milinkovic Savage, somebody that's right there that's really, really good that's defensively that can drop deep right. And then your right back and left back, make sure they can, they can dribble. Don't get Michael Ballack there. Just get like like a Zaha or somebody like that, a Davies, a Taw, somebody that can dribble on those. Um, also, when you get into the game, oh, I'll tell you right now. Right, right center mid is going to be, or right mid will be come back on defense, cut inside, come short. That'll basically, whenever you're defending, he'll come in and defend like a center mid. So you'll have a four, a bank of four, then a bank of three, which will be your right mid, your left mid, and your center mid. So you have, you're defending at a four, three, one, two. So it helps out a lot defensively. If not, if you don't do this, these instructions, they're going to score on you a lot on the counter. So trust me, do those. That's going to be the left cam or the left mid two, come back on defense, cut inside, come short. Uh, your cam is going to be basic everything, get into the box for cross, and both strikers will be stay central, get in behind on both of them. But when you do get in game, same thing as I said earlier, you're going to turn on the D-pad tactics, the bottom arrow, then the up arrow, striker drop back. So it makes your strikers and your cam drop deep, not too deep. It's just going to make them basically cloud or crowd, sorry, crowd your opponent's 4 one 2 one 2 narrow or any center mids that they have or like a 4 3 one 2 or a 4 3 2 one. Basically, any of these, they will crowd like this one. They'll crowd that central CDM by himself. This one right here, they'll crowd this one by himself. 
Um, uh, did I just change all the instructions? I did, right? Okay, it doesn't matter. It'll crowd this guy, or if they're playing this formation too. Uh, no. Uh, it'll crowd. It'll crowd this guy, or if you're playing against. Where's the other one? There's another one that they use a lot. This one. It'll crowd this guy. Your their your opponent center center mid. So they have no way to counter you at all unless they play with like a four triple two or a four three three four. So unless they play with like this one that they have the wingers and the cam, or if they have this one. No, not this one. This one with the two cams on stay forward. There's no way to there's no way to counter that formation. Just letting you guys know. All right. So. Uh, if you're not going to use it or if you use one of those two formations, you're losing and you need to get back into the game, which I really hope you're not losing. If you're losing, you're using one of those two formations because they are very good attacking. Um, but if you need help attacking, you're going to switch to this one. 4 3 2 1. This formation is very, very good attacking. It's very tiki taka based. Just quick counter attack, tiki taka play, just direct down the middle. It gets the job done. Trust me. So just follow these instructions. Balance 35 or 37 uh, width, depth 57, long ball, direct passing. With 37 players in the box, five corners of free kicks, one and one. Both old gen and new gen, just copy it as is. It does defend in a 4 4 2 like all of them, so just keep that in mind. Uh, goalie comes for cross the sweeper keeper. Center backs both stay back while attacking. Right back stay back conservative. Left back join the attack overlap because you need him to join in on the attack, so you get one extra body, kind of like the 4 triple 2 from earlier. So because he is joining in on the attack, your left center mid is going to be on stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box, cover center, just to kind of overcompensate for the fact that your left winger or your left back is attacking, so you don't get caught on the counter uh, so easy. But he will go a little bit forward because of the long ball instruction. He just won't go all the way into the box. So. Helps you prevent a counterattack. Center, center mid is going to be stay back while attacking cover center. So he's your destroyer player. Somebody right there to sweep everything up, distribute the ball, just stop the counter. Right center mid is going to be get forward, get into the box for cross cover wing. So he will defend as a right mid on a 4 4 2, but he will attack as a cam uh, with the get forward and get into box instruction. So he's going to make those diagonal runs right behind the striker. So your left mid or your left uh, forward. Will be your left mid whenever you defend in a 4-4-2. So he's on comeback on defense, getting behind. Just make him run forward, make him make the runs in the back. Central strikers stay central. That is it. So here's your outlet player. So make sure you have somebody that's, that can dribble there, that can pass. Basically your best player there. And your right winger is going to be stay forward, getting behind. So they're always going to be making runs in behind on the right side, uh, making diagonal runs everywhere, just pushing your opponent's defense back. Now. If you don't like this formation or if you want a pressing formation because some people like pressing more than fast tiki taka build up, use this formation right here. 4-3-1-2, ignore the players on who's playing where. You're going to play press after possession loss, 40 width, 70 debt. If you've been in, on my channel for a long time, you know what formation this is and you know how good this formation is. There's no need for me to really talk about it. Press after possession loss, 40, 70, long ball, balance, 50 width, players in the box, 6, corners and free kicks, 1 and 1. This is my very own 4 3 one, two. I love this formation. It's so good at pressing and getting back into your opponent's, uh, or getting back on the scoreboard, getting in your opponent's face. So if you don't like the other 4 3 two, one, just use this one. So I give you both options. Comes across the sweeper keeper, both stay back while attacking. Right back, balance, overlap. Left back, balance, overlap. Center, center, mid, stay back, cover, center. Right uh, center mid all balance everything. Left center mid all balance everything. Cam stay forward. That's it. And both strikers stay central. That is it. That's all you need for those for the 4-3-1-2 press after possession loss. Then if you want to defend the lead, same thing as before. 4-2-3-1. I do have a high line on this. That's only because I'm a big believer on not parking the bus. I don't like defending so deep because then they will hit you with Travellas or you have to be very good at manually defending because if not, they're going to do skill moves and they're going to score on you if you don't have a higher line i'm a big believer in that so copy everything as is both old gen and new gen so balance 37 width debt 60 balance direct passing 47 width players in the box five corners and free kicks one and one goalie same thing comes for cross super keeper both center backs stay back while attacking right back stay back conservative uh, left back stay back conservative conservative because you don't want your left back and your right back to move out of position if they don't uh, if they do move out of position is because you told them to move out of position you don't want them to move out of position because they will score on you and you know the scripting in this game 
between me and you, you know the scripting in this game. You know the AI EA servers will move your players out of position for some weird reason because they think they can get the ball. This prevents them from trying to get the ball. If you believe in all that, if you don't, just give it a shot. It works. Trust me. It just lets your back four stay more intact. <coughs> Excuse me. Left CDM and right CDM, they're both cut passing lanes. Stay back while attacking cover center on both of them because you want them to stay there, defend. You were trying to defend the lead, you know? Your cam will be stay forward again to boss for cross. So you will be defending in a 4 4 1 1. So he's going to be your first outlet player and he'll be also your shadow striker. That's what you have him on getting to boss for cross. Uh, stay forward to get out of the press. Right cam, come back on defense, get into boss for cross. Left cam, come back on defense, get into boss for cross. So you will defend in a 4 4 1 1. Get into boss for cross will allow your strikers to kind of cut inside or your wingers to cut inside, your right, right cam and left cam. Just more bodies in the box if you need it. And your strikers stay central, get in behind. <coughs> Excuse me. And then last formation, go to formation for pressing 4 2 4. I'm not going to go into detail on this one. You know what this is. I've been using this the whole year, so you can just press the video, copy and paste all of this. It is the same thing as always. I will go over the instructions. Goalie comes for cross super keeper. Both center backs stay back while attacking. Right back stay back. That's it. Left back join the attack overlap because we need an extra body. And you know I like to attack to the left side if you haven't figured it out by now, right? Left center mid stay back while attacking cover center. And then your right center mid get forward again to boss for cross cover center. Uh, your left center mid is covering for your left back attacking. And your right center mid is just bombing forward, getting extra bodies in the box. Uh, you have your right winger on comeback on defense, get into the box. For, oh, no. Yeah. Come back on defense, get into the box for cross, cut inside on your right winger and your left winger. The reason why I have them on comeback on defense is because you need them to drop deep if you are going to defend and actually press and try to steal the ball because they are wingers. They automatically sit all the way up there. I don't know why I just look like a cheerleader doing that, but their wingers are going to be all the way up there and you want them to drop deep so they can steal the ball, cut inside so they can actually run in. And now I feel like I'm directing traffic. Oh, man. You want your, your wingers to cut inside to get into the box for cross and get into the box for cross because you want them to get into the box for cross. More bodies in the box equals more opportunity to score, you know? And left striker, right striker, they're almost the same thing. They're both stay central, come back on defense on both of them, but one of them's getting behind, the other one's mixed attack just because you want one of them to kind of get the ball, pass it around. Uh, more of your dribbler type of player, so think of like you'll have Ronaldo on one side as a finisher and Messi on the other side as a build-up play, uh, like a better dribbler you know what I mean yeah there you go those are the full custom tactics uh, for this week those what I that's what I would be using if I didn't use the 352 I'm gonna personally use the 352 in the defensive slot that's gonna be my go-to formation and then my go-to attacking formation will be the 4-3-2-1 with long ball just in case you guys were wondering uh, if not I might play the 4-1-2-1-2 as my go-to formation cuz that was very fun and I kind of want to have fun this weekend on the last few weekend leagues we have. I don't know. We'll see. I got to complete those objectives too. But, yep, there you go. Sorry for the late post today. I was working all day. Working all day yesterday. I haven't had too much time. So, it is what it is. I still made time for it. But I will catch you guys on the next one. Good luck on your foot champs. I hope you guys pack something good. Pack like a team of the season. Mbappe, Neymar, something like that. And, yeah. And I hope you guys pack an Icon R9. That would be nice too. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay hydrated, drink water. Peace.